Fossilized remains of a human-like creature were first discovered in the Neander Valley, hence the name Neanderthal. Imagine bringing to life our closest cousin. We start by removing the nuclear DNA and then replace it with DNA from the Williams specimen. Who's going to carry the embryo? I will. Baby boy. <laughs> Congratulations, mom and dad. This is William, a healthy, week-old Neanderthal baby. Are you a proud father, Dr. Reed? Very proud indeed. The question here is what is best for William? Caveman, get back here. You're not a caveman. I know, I'm a Neanderthal. And that means that you are very special. Check it, yo. Eighteen in English. Not good. What did you get? Thirty-four. That's a very high score. <laughs> yeah, well, I was a total geek. His cognitive patterns don't match any recognizable model. It's not a question of intelligence. He's unique. Go to college like your classmates. Since the day he was born, you have tried to use him to prove something about yourself. You're holding him back. It looks like he wants to say something. Maybe he speaks through you. You're the guy from the university. That's very cool. <laughs> How do you like it out here, Will? I love it. William, you have a place. You embarrassed me in front of everyone in there. Your work is a failure. Why can't we call things what they are? Maybe we can get to a deeper truth. No, I think we can get further from the truth, not closer.